That's right guys, we got another unboxing of a Star Wars Grail Hot Toy. Oof. This is a cool one. Alec Guinness. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Old school. You ready? <laughs> That's right guys, back at it again. Thank you for coming to join me on this next uh, six scale figure unboxing display piece. Another grail. And when I say grail, I mean it is <clears throat> a very iconic figure. It's sold out and you're on the secondary market if you even want a shot at getting this now. Uh, will they 2.0 in? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but if you like the video guys, like, subscribe, ding the bell, uh, comment down below, all that good stuff down below. Hop in weekly giveaway there. All the stuff we do, you know, and if you like these six scale figure unboxings, let me know that too. Uh, here it is. This is the MMS 283 Obi Wan Kenobi from Hot Toys. Uh, now, this I think was 20. The back of the box will tell me. I want to say, you know, it might be around 2017, 2018 would be my guess on this one. Um, but great figure. It came out with, uh, wow. So many others in this kind of box art. Um, Princess Leia, the regular one from New Hope. This is kind of like Alec Guinness from New Hope. Um, and it's right around that time period. So, you know, you have years old. So if you want to get this, you're on secondary market to get these. Roughly, probably will cost you anywhere between four to $600, depending on age, condition, new, used, etc. Uh, also, a lot of them tend to be overseas. Don't worry when you when you look at that, guys, because a lot of these figures, they come from overseas. That's where they're made. That's where Hot Toys and Side... I mean, that's where it is. Sideshow is a distributor of Hot Toys in the United States. But Hot Toys, normally, that's why you see them three months, two months in advance, come out over in China and Hong Kong ahead of making it here to the States. So don't be too worried that uh, they're over there when you have to buy them. It just gets a little tough with shipping. All right, here we go. Obi Wan Kenobi. Look at that. Just a picture of the head sculpt. Looking awesome. Lightsaber, nice box. MMS 283 Obi Wan Kenobi. Now, when I said Grail, guys, what I meant by that was uh, this isn't sold anymore. It is a very hard figure to get. Will it be retro, 2.0, etc.? Who knows? Uh, great little box art inside. As you can see, the great Alec Guinness. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Take that off. Now, a lot of times you may have to find this figure, guys, in second-hand use. You know what I mean? It's just the way that it's going to be with this one um, because it, it's been a couple years, you know. So, got the little instruction book. Let's take it out of plastic. Another thing to keep in mind, guys, that most of the time with these, you are dealing with adult collectors. I mean, let's face it, kids are not buying $300, $250, $300 figures like this. Look at that beautiful scape, uh, head sculpt, the eyes, look at the jacket, very nicely textured, detailed, very cool. You have the lightsaber, this is the old technology where you have these batteries to power the lightsaber. In reality, it's not very good, you know, so probably not going to use that. And we will take him out. We'll also take out what we have. We got the cut, the cut crotch grabber. Again, like I do a lot of times, we had the person just keep all the bags for it. And again, very simplistic base, but again, kind of like that etched in Obi-Wan Kenobi. I kind of like it. Very well done. And again, your normal, uh, like, cr crotch grabber. You know, simplistic, not really much to it. I think it just really fits into that, you know. That's how it does. Yep, there it is. Fits in just like that. We'll set that to the side. Now, here's the lightsaber again. I'm not going to use batteries. I'm assuming the batteries go in here somewhere. It's just 
uh, or it's going to be on this one. One of the two has the batteries, uh, but again, not not going to use it. And this one would be, be good on his hilt. You can put that right on his hilt. Again, not going to use that. You have another arm, another hand right there. And again, a very simplistic figure. There's just not much to him, you know. Uh, I don't believe there's any rolling eyes functions or anything like that. But again, a beautiful, beautiful head sculpt. Will we ever get a 2.0 of this figure? It's hard to say. I, I don't know. Um, it goes to license again. Very nice belt clip. You just look at the well. Look at the boots. I mean, just you, you never really look at that when it comes to the movies or anything like that. Again, you have the little clip if you wanted to put uh, the saber on that one. And actually, here's the arm with the batteries uh, if you wanted to use that. And again, not something that I'm going to use. But if you wanted to, there's uh, the arm that has the batteries. They just don't last long. It's just not worth it. Again, great texture with the hands. You know, very detailed. I and mean, that's what a hot toy is. It is a very detailed figure. I do think he's got it up here. So we'll put the uh, lightsaber in and we'll put him up there. Uh, again, if you're looking for this figure, it is a few years old. You are going to have to find it. Um, maybe you find it brand new. Maybe you find it, more than likely, you're going to find it used. Um, and use, this figure could bring you anywhere between four to, you know, 550 is about the average you're going to pay for this figure used. Brand new could be a little bit more. But uh, again, just very well done. You have the hood there. You can do this. If you want to do a little uh, episode one, or not episode, but Star Wars, you can just do it like that. You could take this rope off. It's however you want to do it, but I think I'm going to display him just like that, holding the saber. I'll put him with the other Star Wars characters and uh, let you check it out. And like I said, guys, there he is in the case. Again, nice stand. Very simplistic. Beautiful robe very well done incredible face sculpt to sit there enjoying some of the other ones great figures till next time guys i'm the luau thanks for coming to join me <laughs> and as you can see guys uh a great figure it really is i think the tailoring is great the sculpt is great I don't think you needed rolling eyes function on this one. Remember, it is an older technology. Uh, I'm not going to use the, the batteries with the arm. It just doesn't. It's not worth it. It's just truly not worth it. Um, goes in the case. Hopefully you like it. You know, the Star Wars case is really filling up. I kind of really want these uh, um, sort of like risers from or, uh, from Maju case. Maju Space, when they come, then I can put the figures on the back, put people in front of them. I think it'll just look a lot better. It's just they're not here yet uh, not quite the lead time of the cases but still you know it is a little bit of a lead time to get them so more to come on that one hopefully sometime early summer they're here and uh, we can start making the display case look good i think what i'm gonna have to do is do like uh mandalorian on the bottom or maybe ahsoka or maybe mando here ahsoka Ta something like that we'll end up having to do to, to to break it up a little bit i think but Hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, I enjoy these six scale figure unboxings for you. Uh, we're doing a lot of older figures, not necessarily newer. So hopefully, it, you know, it, it may spark your interest and may think, wow, I, I got to get one for myself. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Hop in the giveaways. Check out the affiliate links, discount codes. Also, Patreon if you want to support the channel and giveaways and all the things that we do. I truly do appreciate it. And we will see you on the next six scale figure unboxing right here from the Luau. Till next time, peace out, guys. Is it?